Hello, my little humans. This is No Pony Special with No Pony Built, and today we will be building SD Gundam's EX Standard GATX. Let's try that again. GAT dash X105 plus AQM slash E dash X01 Ally Strike Gundam. And first and foremost, we'll take a look at the packaging. It says Gunplay Bandai Gundam Seed 019628. Well, 728. Sorry. I apologize. SD Gundam Standard. Stuff I can't read. Model. The obligatory product shot. Nice little Gundam shot here. Nice more product shots of the Gundam that we will be building and things and that it does. And I guess this is one you could buy or that it could attach to or something. I don't know. I can't read any of that. Oh, I see. Gundam SD plus HG. Yay. More product shots, and there's nothing on the back, and that is it for the packaging. Inside we get a nice little box full of parts and stickers, and more parts and stickers, and manuals, and that is it for the packaging. Now I know what you're thinking. Gundam models. I haven't seen those on TV in years. N nobody buys those. I got this over at my local comic book shop. For about six fifty, your place may vary if they have any. And yay, simple, fun toys, yay! Uh, we'll get into that later. Look, we have stickers, yay! Stickers, colorful stickers, and colorful plastic, plastic, colorful stuff. And we'll get into opening these up and shutting them out. And try using scissors because if you're like me, you just broke that all all off. Yay! Need plastic. We have our ball joints and joints and stuff in here and there, and wings and stuff. I don't know where. But that's the fun of this. We're all going to build a Gundam. Looks like some of this is already coming off the pegs. That's fine by me. That means less work I have to do. So let's see what we have to assemble first. Woo! There's a lot to do. And it looks like we might have to deal with the head. First things first, we will, that's exactly what we will be dealing with, is the head. First we'll find a visor somewhere around here. That's a knee, that's a joint, that's that. Ah, here we are, right here in red, this is the facial visor. We will pop that out, just as simply as that is. Apparently it's more simple than I thought. Then we will come over here and take out the eyes. Just the eyes. And we will be setting them right there. And hopefully you're better at putting stickers on than I am for the first go around. And there it is. The eyes are put in. And we will take the front and the back of the heads. Just in case we have some stubborn little pieces here and there. Got some nice little shears that I purchased. We will stick the face in here. To the front of the head. We will put together, snap together the entire head. And there you have it. Hey, we got a face. Looks so 
shiny. <laughs> Next thing we will do is, if I'm understanding, we will come over here and clip off this piece here. Make sure I get this right. Here we go. We're going to need this and something else. So these instructions are not in English, so I gotta figure out where's what, what. And eleven. Looks like we're putting on some more stickers. Yay. see if I can understand where these go or how they go or is it from now we need to find sticker number 11 that would be sticker right here now if I understand this right These stickers right here will go onto this one here and it will fold over here and then stick down like so. Okay, that's put on there horribly. get that down. I'll take this here and just kind of finally push that into where it'll stick right here in this corner. That's a little bit more difficult. It's like they don't cover it. Of course it would be off centered. That's the reason why it's not covering everything. It's off centered. Uh, once you put it on, you can't take it off. Alright, my fellow humans. Uh, apparently, I goofed up and did have to review of uh, putting this together. <laughs> uh, while the camera was paused, whenever I was looking for a, a pair of uh, tweezers. So, like I said, these stickers that come with them on the model properly. <sighs> with that halfway done, I might as well finish up the uh, finish this up on my own, which is great practice for the next kind of misty that we will be going through. We have four more, so I will go through the articulation. So here we have. Axel Strike Gun or IL Strike Gundam. No, I'm not sure how to pronounce that word, but Strike Gundam. He is very cool. He has 360 degree waist articulation. He can do a little swivel dance. He can look down, he can't look up. He can move his head side to side. He has 360 degrees head rotation. His head does almost come popping off these. He does have 360 degree rotation on his arms, which do pop out with the ball joint and hinge that can easily be put back together just like so. It is rubbery ball joints. Up, down. The fists have no articulation, but you do have wrist swivel due to the ball joint here. The shield is on a little peg situation. We have a nice little gun and articulation here. Bang, 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 bang. He does have a nice little jetpack that is detachable, but not easily. Here we go. 
you do end up pulling them completely apart where you can see the ball joint underneath easily pop together. He does have foot articulation. It can go all the way back here, go all the way up front. No art knee articulation, but you have no you can't move the leg will not move back any further. You can't move the leg up front forward a little. You can go this far to the sides. In between his leg you do have a little peg hole right here where you can put him on a stand so he can be floating in the air. And that is it for his articulation. A little thing we can do with the weapons, of course the guns, the shields, and the backpack, is we can combine them together in two separate forms that can go on use, be used for larger Gundams. First we'll take out these two side jetpacks. We'll take apart this, the shield's handpiece. We will take the gun and we will place it right here and at the back of the jetpack. We will take the shield where this little center peg here is. We will put it directly on top of this here and then we will take the gun the handle that was on the shield and put it here and there we have it this is it now personally uh, in my opinion this is what I like like to do you don't have to do it it's your if you buy this you find it it's your toy you can make it and display it however you want I like to place these right back where they were and kind of just give them this cool look or you could turn it backwards to look like some ex some uh, exhaust ports right here which I think looks a lot cooler for a gun than anything it can fit on your uh, SD model but it is made for the larger types in addition there is another mode with just using the shield and these exhaust ports First we take the shield, turn it over, replace these two right here, like so. Then we take the gun, the handle piece, we place it right here in the peg, and that's it. We are done. That's that's all there is to it. And we get this little energy spread out bomb thingy. I'm not sure what it would be, but it is a thing you can do. In addition, you can mix and match in any way that you wish. They do. You can sort them out by placing them here if you want to do that. It's a thing that it can do. You know, have fun with it. It's fully posable. It's fully... It's a model kit. Make it however you wish. And that is Exhale Strike Gundam SD for you. Oh, he does have arti elbow articulation and his arms can go out. So far, I almost forgot about that. And he can move, or move it around like so. <laughs> he does have shoulder articulation as well. And yes, that's Exhale Strike Gundam SD EX Standard Edition. And I hope you enjoyed this. I apologize that I didn't get to show you how it was built. But we will have a couple more. For, like I said, I have four more to do. That we will be reviewing here later on this week. Oh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. And turn on the notifications. In the description below, you will find links to my... To, to my... To my... Don't you hate it when you forget a word? to my Twitter, to my Facebook, and to my Instagram. Hope to see you guys following me sometime soon, and have a nice day.